Good morning guys, I am back from Dubai and I thought what a better way to kick off being back in the UK with a full day of eating. So as I've had a couple of weeks of drinking and eating whatever the hell I wanted, which by the way is absolutely fine when you are away, I kind of always get back from holiday and just crave my routine and I've actually just kind of decided that November is going to be a non-drinking, non-kind of eating rubbish month. I just want to get back on track. I've had like the busiest summer. I've been to Marbella twice, Italy, Dubai, and I just don't feel myself. So November is the kind of month for me to get back to it for myself. I am not going out or whatever, so literally just going to be tracking my calories, making sure that my sessions are on point. I have a new training plan from my coach that works for me. So Lizzie's done my training plan, which is really exciting because I just need a bit of structure, you know, I need to know what I'm doing each week. I want to be tracking my calories. I'm not eating in a deficit or anything. I'm eating kind of just to my maintenance. But I know that that makes me feel good. And yeah, I just want to be back to Ellie. First things first, I have obviously got up this morning. I've had a coffee and I have got ready for the day. The calories that I'm eating at the moment, I'm just going to get it up so that you guys know. So I'm eating to around, it's kind of like a low-ish maintenance. So 1,775 calories. But I'm going to start on this and I'm probably going to increase it a little bit. But I just want to feel like good because I just feel so bloated right now. I am eating 180 grams of carb, 140 protein and 55 grams of fat. So I always aim for one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Got back from Olé and stepped on the scale yesterday. I was like, oh my God, like I have put on so much weight. I was 67.7 kg and I took a photo of it. Before I went on holiday, I'm pretty sure I was like 65. So I was like, that's a massive jump. Bearing in mind, I've obviously been on like a really long flight. So the flight back from Dubai is like, like seven and a half hours. And then I also took progress photos so I'll put them in here so you guys have them to kind of, you know, keep me accountable as well. And then my weight this morning when I jumped on the scales after a day back on track yesterday was 66.6. So as you can see, I've literally lost a kilo overnight, which is obviously not fat. And this is why it's really important to not get down about the scales and not kind of focus on the scales when you get back from holiday. I know I jumped on them, but I kind of just wanted to have that starting point for myself. And I'm not one to really care about a number on a scale. I just wanted to have that in the back of my mind. So yeah. One kilo down, which is obviously water weight. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Like how much we hold as women. Literally can't believe it. This morning, I am going to the gym. I'm going to train legs. So got my session up on true coach which lizzie's done for me like i said she's labeled it glutes 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 so that's exciting we have i'll show you what it looks like actually because it's quite cool it basically comes up like this so this is what it looks like on the app which is the app that i use with my clients and then obviously as you click on it you've got like all the videos which show you how to do it like obviously i know what i'm doing but it's really good for like clients if they don't know what they're doing so we have reverse lunges we've got some deadlifts bulgarian split squats Ooh. glute bridges single leg glute bridges and then some frog pumps so it's gonna be a nice session oh, yeah into it i'm gonna make some breakfast because this is a getting back on track slash full day eating video and i'm hungry it's half nine we're gonna leave for the gym at 10 aren't we probably not we're late. so actually living here at the moment because he's homeless so we're gonna go to the gym at like 10 ish and yeah hopefully we're gonna have a good session so protein porridge calls for one thing and that is the my protein cereal way use code eleanor for 37 percent off guys this is the best flavor for my protein it's so good it's not too sweet it tastes just like cereal milk which is Oh, which is obviously a win. And then I always use the My Protein Gluten Free Oats, which are the best. I love these. Obviously, look how bad, big this bag is, and it's like nearly empty. It lasts so long, it's such good value for money. So, I really recommend this as well. So, as I'm tracking my calories, I am going to have 50 grams of oats. And then, once I've weighed out the oats, I'm just going to add in some water and microwave it for two minutes. Just taken my oats out the microwave and mixed it with a little bit of water and really important now to let it cool. I know I bang on about this, but you don't want to burn the protein before adding it to let that cool. And then we'll add in 20 grams of the cereal whey. The toppings today are this Skippy peanut butter because I've run out of the my protein one. And then also some sugar free jam. And there we go, pretty simple, but tastes so good. Okay, so 
protein oats done i've just tracked it and everything else that i've had did it wow there's jam on my phone so i've just tracked it and everything else i've had today so far so i always put around 250 ml of milk um and i always have oatly so i've just tracked it on my fitness pal and i normally have around 250 ml of oatly milk brista Good. and then i tracked what i've had here as well and it's come out at 510 calories 59.5 grams of carb 16.5 grams of fat and 30.5 grams of protein so big portion of protein big portion of carbs to fuel my workout okay gummy time so i have these three vitamins every single day love them i think these hair skin and nail tablets actually work like my hair's been so good and so much thicker since taking them so really recommend gym time i like convict the night love to my prison we both do. Oversized jumpers, athletics. Out you go. Just finished from Morrison's. Got like our weekly, well, my weekly shop. Kieran's actually going home. But I am off to get my nails done, even though they don't need doing. But I basically can't have long nails for uni, so really sad. Literally got these done like under two weeks ago, and I hate getting my nails done. Don't know about any of you. It's the worst thing in the world. I've also got to get my toes done as well. So great. Two hours wasted. I'm just gonna have a lunch snack. Well, actually, it's supposed to probably be like lunch slash post workout. It's a tuna crunch wrap from Morrison's. 306 calorie for the whole thing. So don't tell me when you're on the go that you can't eat well because you 100% can. Just got back from the nail shop. New nails. So sad I had to take those ones off because I literally love them and they were so young. I'm gonna say young because they were young. <laughs> got myself an oat milk coffee on the way back. I'll just track that as like 200 ml of oat milk. And as you saw before, I had my tuna crunch sandwich. It was all right, but there wasn't a lot of tuna in it. So, and then when I put it into my fitness pal, the macros came up. And to be fair, it's pretty much accurate because on the macros, it said, tuna crunch wrap 309 calories 15.3 grams of protein and 50.9 grams of carb so the only trouble is this has kind of skewed my macros for the day because i'm now very high on carbs but what i'm gonna do is i've got to film something for fabletic hence the cute little out Bit. And then once I've done that, I am gonna make myself something to eat. And I'm thinking I might actually have like my protein pancakes because I prefer to have them rather than a shake and they taste so good and they're really high in protein. So, so nearly finished my little bit of work, but thought I'd show you. So these are the pancakes that I made. They're chocolate caramel stuffed protein pancakes. I use the my protein protein pancake mix. So good. I feel like this whole video is turning into a my protein advert, but I swear to God, it's not intended like that. I actually just use this stuff. So I'm just showing you guys this is actually what I'm using today. So these are the pancakes, caramel stuff. I put caramel chunks in the pancakes. So like, so good, like melts in the middle. And the calories for these are 288 calories. Like what? So good. So obviously, as you can see, I've eaten half of it, but melt in the middle. Mm -mm. I've just got changed again because I am currently about to do some work. Then I'm heading into the city and then to North London because I am going to do something very exciting that no one knows about. You guys will all find out so soon. I think probably be like a sneak peek in the next few weeks and then something is launching in February slash March. We're not sure yet. Um, so I might give you a little bit of a hint in this video. I really can't say that much, but it's something that I've been working on for six, seven, eight months, but it's something that I've been thinking about for such a long time and it's finally coming together. I have the best team. Everything is just, oh, God, and I wish I could say more because it's gonna be the best thing ever and it's just so different and so me <sighs> I wonder if you guys can guess it. If you can, comment below what you think. But yeah, I'll give you guys some sneak peeks. And then I'm actually meeting my sister. Well, she's actually coming with me because she's needed. And then we're actually gonna go out for dinner, I think. So I'll show you exactly what I eat whilst out because obviously, like I said, I'm tracking my calories. Still gonna eat good food. So I'll show you how I do that. home as you can see i went to box park and got some dinner i got like a it was like a chicken sheesh kind of box with rice and i asked for less sauce but to be honest there was quite a lot of sauce in there but i think i'm probably within my calories because i had like 600 so hopefully we're all good but yeah that's literally gonna end my full day of eating sorry it wasn't as kind of like inventive as my normal style but i was literally on the go all day today so hopefully this kind of shows you that you can eat Pretty well even if you are on the go also you guys just saw a sneak peek of what i have been working for i'm so 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 excited literally can't wait to tell you all what's happening in the next few weeks and hopefully i'll be able to kind of put it on my instagram and just announce whatever 
is but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i have so much clearing up to do like what on earth is on my bed so i'm going to finish this video here please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you at the same time next week bye bye Wait, i'm tired of fighting saying things we don't mean you know i don't like it when you're packing your bag into